Hi everyone, it's Matt and welcome to Collaboration Coach. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to create a form with Microsoft Forms. So you get to Forms from the App Launcher. If you can't see it in your list of apps, you can go to All Apps and then choose Forms. When you choose that, you'll land on this landing page and you'll see the new form tile here. If you click on it, it's gonna take you through to a new form. So the first thing you're asked to do is give your form a title. So I'm going to call this form training feedback. It's going to be my training feedback form. So you can add a description here if you want to give some more details, but I'm just going to leave that blank for now. I'm going to add a question. Now this question is going to be a date question. So I'm going to choose the date option here. I'm going to ask, when did you take the training? Okay, and I want that to be a required answer. So I'm going to force people to answer that one. Now at the top here, you can see you can duplicate this question if you want to, if you want to copy it, and you've got the delete button if you want to remove it. To add your next question, you go to the add question button, and this time I'm going to add a rating button. I'm going to choose rating, I'm going to say overall, how would you rate your training? And you see I can choose how many levels, so I'm just going to choose three levels, they've got stars there. You can also change stars to numbers if you like as well. I'm going to leave that as it is, and that is also required. Now I'm going to add a third question. This time it's going to be a text question, and I'm going to ask how could we improve? Now this allows the responder to free type anything they like, and you can say that it's a long answer. So you can toggle long answer on, which gives them more space to type freely. And I'm also going to make this not a required question because I don't want to force people to have to answer this if they don't want to. And then finally I'm going to add a fourth question and this one is going to be a choice and I'm going to ask how would you rate your trainer? And the first option here is going to be awesome. Second option is going to be awful. And I can add more options by clicking the add option button here. I'm just going to add a third option. You see you've got the little bin icon to remove the options here if you want to. Um, you can also choose multiple answers. So if I wanted to allow the responder to check more than one box, I could do that by toggling multiple answers on. I'm just going to leave it off for now. All right, so if you scroll back up, you can see your questions, which is looking pretty good. Now, what I like to do is actually change the order of these questions. I'd like to move the how would you rate your trainer up to the second question. And I do that by pressing this button here, this up arrow button. You can see now this is question number two. And if I say I wanted to move the overall training rating question down to the bottom, I just choose this move question down button. And now it's question four. All right, so now I'm happy with the questions, I'm happy with the, the sequence. Uh, now I'd like to have a look at what that's gonna look like to the responder. I come up here then to the preview button. When I press preview, it takes me to a new page and now I'm seeing the form as a responder would see it. So I can fill it out and submit it. So you'll notice here that I've got a computer or a desktop option, which is already selected. And I can also select a mobile option when I do that, it's going to show me how the form's going to look on a phone. Looking pretty good. All right, so let's go to the desktop by switching to computer. I'm actually going to fill out the form. So when did you take the training? Click on that. Choose the date. How would you rate the trainer? Awesome, of course. How could we improve more snacks? And I'm just going to choose three stars for the overall rating. Then when I'm happy, I'm going to hit submit. And this is what the, the responder will see. It will say thank you, and then you can submit another response if you want to. All right, now I'm, I'm pretty happy with the way that went, so I'm gonna go back, and it's gonna take me back to the edit mode. Now you can see on the right-hand side here, we've got a response now, because I've just filled out the form, obviously. So when I click on it, it's gonna show me that information on that response, how long it took to fill out, and whether it's active. And I can actually view the results here too. So if I click on, it's going to show me there is only one respond obviously at the moment but it shows me how i answered each question okay and if i wanted to i could delete that response because it's a test i probably don't want to keep it for good i'm going to leave it there for now 
And now I can go back and now you can also see we've got some graphs here that show you things like how the questions were answered, what the answers were, and so on. So you get quite a bit of detail as to how this has been responded to. Now the last thing I can do is choose a theme. So if I come to the theme button here, you'll see I've got some solid color themes, I've got some image or graphic themes, then I can also add my own themes. So if I wanted to go and pick out a an image from the web, so this is a Bing search, I just type in a keyword and it shows me images from Bing, or I could go to my OneDrive or I could actually upload an image from my computer. So you've got some options there. For now, I think I'm just going to go and actually choose a nice purple theme. All right, so now I'm happy with the theme. The last thing I need to do is share my form. So as you can imagine, in order for someone to fill the form, they need an address to go to to open it up. So you do this on the share button here. So what essentially you have here is the ability to copy a link to the form. And the first thing you need to decide is whether you want the form to be only shared within your own organization or whether you're going to share it outside your organization. This second option here is the default, and this is only people in my organization res can respond. So that's people who have a login to your Office 365 tenant. The second option is anyone with this link can respond, and that essentially means anyone that has the link can click on it and get to your form. So that's quite an open one. Once you've chosen, you then hit copy and your link is now ready to paste into an email, a chat window or however you're going to share the link. So let's copy that link. What we're going to do now is switch browsers. So I'm going to go to my Edge browser and now I'm logged in as someone different, this guy Alex. So Alex, I can paste in the link to the browser, open it up. And this is what it looks like to the responder. So you can see it's got my nice purple background and I can fill out the form as Alex. I'm just going to leave that blank and I'm going to do two stars and submit. So now you see that's been filled out by Alex. And if I switch browsers again, now you'll see that I've got two responses. And from the results here, I can view the results and I can see Alex as the responder and how he filled out the form. So in this video, we looked at how to create a new form with Microsoft Forms.